You've got baseball on the show. It's the Texas Rangers and the Boston Red Sox. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set and on the hill in this one, Nick Pavetta. What do you have on him, Siggy? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Ready to go now. Now it's the second baseman, Marcus Simeon. And the pitch. That one finds the zone, and we're underway. The wind and the pitch. Strike two. Just off the inside edge. That one called just inside, I think, and on the mound. He's trying to get a little bit of an explanation. Doesn't seem to be too bothered by it, though, but he clearly thought it clipped the corner. And he grounds one to the right side. The flip to the pitcher covering. One out in the top of the first. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away. Jump out to a lead early and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Corey Seager, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. The 0-1. Just missed. One and one. So a foul ball makes it one and two. A little tardy on that fastball. Is going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. Right. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for strike three. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I'd call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. Two out spaces empty. That one almost got him. Straightened him up a little bit. Next offering is in for a strike. Ripped on a line. And Garcia is out. And that is that. One, two, three, go to Rangers. Now the Red Sox will get their shot. No score. You're dialed into the show. And we're back. Starting on the mound in this one, Nathan Evaldi. What do you have on him? He's got that splitter, and it's a pitch that swings and misses, calm fast, and they come often. Very difficult to pick up out of his hand. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And stepping in is the speedy Jaron Duran. And a pitch. And a foul ball left side. Evaldi, multi-time all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a splitter, a cutter, a curve, and he works in a slider. Gathered in by Seeger, throw to first. One gone bottom half of the first. Check out the Red Sox lineup. Now it's Devers at the plate. Devers, the baby-faced assassin. And that one fouled off. Yeah. 
One down, base is empty. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. And a strike to Devers. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand. Looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. Caught him looking for the K. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Now batting Tristan Casas. Left field. Carter brings it in with a nice run and grab. Scoreless after one. Back now at Fenway. All set for the start of the inning. And stepping in, the rookie left fielder, Evan Carter. Pavetta back to work. Not close with that one. Ball one. Pavetta in his sixth season, 31 years old, and he was born in Canada. That's outside. Two and oh. Left hand hitter waits. Swings through that one for strike one. The high fastball, particularly for young hitters, can be hard to lay off of because you see it so well at eye level, but it's really hard to catch up and get that top. The 2-2. Two -two. And that's in the dirt. And a swing and a miss. And there's one away. Well, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. And they jump out front. It's one nothing. How in the world did he manage to hit that one out? It wasn't even in the strike zone. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Base is empty, one away. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. One down, base is empty. And that's a little bit high. Yeah, the count even one and one. Ed Drummond, our umpire behind the plate in this one. Yeah, Boogie's a really fair umpire, both the pitchers and the hitters. So standard strike zone, he's consistent with it. And the great thing is you don't see players questioning the calls too much. So that's a good thing in this day and age. One out, base is empty. On the ground to the left. And that's a fair ball. Around first, heading for two. The throw into second, and he'll pull into second safely. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Man, it's second with one away. And now it's going to be Jonah Heim. That's in for a strike at 95. And it's 0-1. Low. The runner at second with one away. One ball, two strikes. 
in the dirt and the runner holds. Makes the grab and there's two gone. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting the line drive that finds a glove but you will get some high fives. You know when you make great contact you feel like you've done everything right but in this game of baseball not everything is in your control. Here's Leody Tavares. First pitch not close. That's ripped and this one could be extra bases around third. He'll score easily. It's two nothing and that's a two out double. Picks himself up in RBI. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch not trying to do too much but still looking to drive it and that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Man in scoring position with two away. Ezekiel Duran stepping in for the Rangers. Line drive makes the play and it's out number three. But two runs form and they jump ahead. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Rangers two and the Red Sox nothing. Back here at Fenway Park, bottom of the inning, and here is Masataka Yoshida. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. And he deals. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the light up, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Pitch is in the dirt. One and two to Cal. And another ball. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Chased the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count off at two balls and two strikes but that time chased outside the zone. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. That one finds the corner and that is strike one. The Red Sox down by a pair bottom half of inning number two. Out to short. Seeger sends it to first. Two up, two down. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. So stepping in for Boston, will you Abreu. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Close one doesn't get the call and that's ball one close pitch there and he's kind of wondering where it missed you know getting a feel for each umpire strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game and sometimes from at bat to at bat just missed pitch and that one a little below the knees 
And that's ball three. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And he walked him. Well, two out walks are never good, especially when you're trying to get back into that dugout. But he's still in a good spot. He's just got to refocus and deal with the bottom of this order. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Clips the corner. It's 0 and 1. There it was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. And now the count is even. Abreu off of first with two away. Ivaldi checks the runner and he's back in on a dive. Two outs. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Stepping in, Vaughn Grissom. And the 1-0. And that's in there at the knees. Next offering in there for a strike. And it's one and two. Two on, two outs. Fights that one away, still one and two. Kicks and fires. Still two and two after the foul ball. And a pitch. Hit connect on the curveball struck him out. Boston strands a pair, and they're down to nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the second baseman, Marcus Simeon. Here comes a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And ball one. Next offering upstairs. And delivers outside. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. That's a strike. Full count now. Fouls it back with two strikes. Righty delivers. 
gets a piece and stays alive. The pitch. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And the right hater deals. And he can't come up with it. But he wins the foot race to first. Good job of knowing how much time he had there. Seeger stands in now. Went down on strikes his first time through. The shortstop takes the ball. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Ball two. Two oh count. You really don't want to give in here. You've got to work the edges. Really execute a pitch. Hopefully you can get back into this count. One down, base is empty. And a big swing and a miss. They can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. That one at 95 missed up top. Ball three. Seeger checks his swing. Appeal down to third. And Woody Keller right on it. Says he held up. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them a long way. Garcia takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. On the ground, could be two. Grissom goes to second. Safe there. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Well, this offense just got a major gift. Probably should have been a double play, but it all starts with a good feed to second. And right there, everything broke down on the throw. We'll see if they can capitalize on this. So one out with two aboard. Evan Carter will hit next. And it's even up. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Well, the hitter shows the pitcher that he's willing to go after that pitch down in the zone. So perhaps he'll come back to it. Still try to get that ground ball double play. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. Play it third in there. And it's second and third one away. Boog, we're seeing some shakiness from the defense here in this inning. First an error and now a pass ball. They really need to clean it up and start taking care of the baseball. Two on, one out. Struck him out looking. Fastball to letters, throws him for strike three. Here's Josh Young. He's already homered in this game. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And the slider just misses. Off the mark there. And that's ball two. Two outs. That one almost got him. Not really attacking on the mound in this at bat. All breaking balls. So that makes me think they're not really wanting to challenge him here.
Next offering is in for a strike. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another runner in scoring position the rest of this ballgame. And they're all loaded up. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boog. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Nathaniel Low up to hit, doubled his first time up. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. More and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. And here it comes. On the ground to short. They get the force out to escape a bases loaded jam unscathed. Rangers threaten but leave them loaded. But they hold the 2 0 lead. Set for the bottom of the third. And now the catcher comes up to hit. Connor Wong. The pitch. And there's a foul ball. The pitch. Gets the call. That's strike two. Inside just missed. Curveball kind of backed up on him there. I think it just slid out of the hand a little bit too soon. That one missed. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. And now the count filled up three and two. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Heim puts it away, and there's one down. Now batting Jaron Duran. Grounded out his first time. Feels like it's less common today that you see a guy like this. The speed component, the contact component, but lack of power. That misses, and it's 1-0. Oh. He just has to understand that his skill set is unique, and he's very valuable for any ball club. If he does that, he'll play a long time in this league. And there's a ball. And a foul ball. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. Kicks and deals. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And that's a double. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. One down. Rafael Devers up next for the Red Sox. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And that one fouled off. Now wanted one. Man at second. Wouldn't chase that time.
The pitch. In the air on the infield, moving under it. Makes the grab, two down. Now back, first base. And now the first baseman, Tristan Casas. He's over one. And a curve is down and in. Runner at second, two down. Here in the last half of the third. That misses the zone. And now 2-0. Oh. Well, no need to go right at this guy. First base is open. He can hurt you, so make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. Man on second, two down. That one's spoiled, and the count now 2-1. And the righty deals. Masataka Yoshida waiting for a turn at the plate. Duran on its second with two down. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Young makes the grab and that's the inning. And the Red Sox leave one. They trail it here 2 0. Back in Boston, here's the catcher, Jonah Heim. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. You come into the game knowing that. Unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him, we're probably not going to steal anything today. So that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that some base hits, some slogs, some home runs can come into play. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Well, I'll say this as a former position player and base stealer. When you come into a game and you've got a guy like this behind the dish with a big arm, you really have to change your approach. Can't try to steal because you'll get thrown out. Maybe get a little bigger lead, be aggressive on the secondary, but this type of guy shuts the running game down. Fires across the diamond. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Next up for Texas, Leody Tavares. Doubled in his first A.B. Nice curveball for a strike. Out to center. Duran pulls it down and he makes the catch. Two away. Two outs, base is empty. Ezekiel Duran stepping in for the Rangers. 0 for 1 so far. Just missed. And that's off the inside edge. And the count is 2 0. Oh. Right hander kicks deals. And that one hammered into the monster seats and gone. And they add to their lead. It's 3 0. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Simeon in the box again. Takes a strike.
Two down, base is empty, but one run across top half of inning number four. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. And it hops over the wall for an automatic double. Well, this tends to happen more often in this park than others, and that short fence is just so inviting for hitters. You see a lot of balls bounce over for an automatic double when no one can run it down. Man, it's second here with two away. Now it's Corey Seager. That's in there, and that's strike one. Two outs and one in scoring position. Fought off foul. Two outs. Ball one there. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. In the dirt, blocked. No advance, good job behind the dish. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Runner at second, two down. Swings and misses, struck him out. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now three nothing. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Ready to go, bottom four. And stepping in for Boston, Masataka Yoshida. The wind of the pitch. What about the fans at Fenway? Would they let you have it from time to time? They're definitely intelligent baseball fans, which is awesome. They're not waiting for something to happen. They can smell a big inning or anticipate a situation setting itself up. Line drive, caught! Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. Here's Trevor Story, grounded out his first time. One thing I found that was very cool was making a great play to end the inning and running off the field and getting a standing ovation even at times when you're not a player on their team. As long as you're not winning, they will celebrate and applaud a great play on the field. These fans here, they love and respect baseball. Next offering is in for a strike. In the air out towards right center. Tavares going after it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Now best, the right fielder, Willier. And next for the Red Sox, Willier Abreu. That's in for a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up into this point. And that one is lifted in the air. It gets down, a base hit. Throws to second, and he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. New pitcher for the Red Sox, Zach Kelly. Well, they didn't get much length out of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of him right here if they can get it. Adolis Garcia stepping in for the Rangers. And a pitch. And ball one to the right fielder. So, Boog, you went to college in this town. What was it like for you being a college student and having the opportunity to bounce over here to Fenway Park and see some games? Yeah, in fact, 1990, a couple of college classmates and I, we were in college, 
we bought standing room tickets and then the next night got a chance to see the Red Sox clinch the East against the White Sox and that sliding catch in the corner by Tom Brodansky. The Red Sox would end up losing to the Oakland A's in the playoffs. But that's one of the things that I'll think about in terms of memories from going to college and going to Fenway. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. And there's ball four. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Fouled off. He was late. He's getting the barrel to the ball. He's just got to work on that timing a little bit. Kelly, in his second season, he features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, a slider, and he works in a two-seamer. one out to right sizing this one up he's got it and there's one down now here is Josh Young he's already homered here in this one Outside low, 1 and 0. Oh. Garcia over at first with one away. And there's a hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Nathaniel Lowe stepping in for the Rangers. One for two. First offering, and it just misses. The Rangers trying to break this one open. And we're at the top of the fifth. Late with the swing there. I think he was sitting off speed there. Right through there for a strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch he'll see in this at bat to hit. Two, two down. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. You usually are going to see that inside fastball a little longer coming in from the opposite side, but that pitch really got in on him right there. I mean, that's a well thrown pitch. Tough to do anything with that in terms of getting the hands through and the sweet spot of the bat to the baseball. Jonah Heim stepping in for the Rangers. Missed with a changeup, and that's ball one. And a pitch. And a foul ball. First and second, two down. Next pitch is downstairs. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. That one misses. Three balls and a strike. Leody Tavares waits on deck. At the belt and fires. Well struck right field. And that one hops the wall. One run across headed for the plate. Relay throw home. He'll score. Two runs are in. It's 5 nothing.
Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. And now the center fielder, Laoti Tavares. Lifted in the air out to left. And that'll do it. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. And the lead is now 5-0. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here in Boston, we head to the bottom of the fifth. So stepping in for Boston, Tyler O'Neill. Yeah, the right-hander back to work. That misses the zone. Ball one. You know, these Red Sox need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. Just one extra base hit for them, so they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. Next offering upstairs. And another ball. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. And a pitch. In for a strike. And now it's three and two. Good job to fight that one off. The kick, the 3 2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. And O'Neill is retired. And there's one down. Now it's the second baseman, Vaughn Grissom. Struck out swinging his first time. Outside. And that is ball one. Base is empty one away. Last half of inning number five. Just missed. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. The pitch. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Swings and misses. And the count's even at two. One down, base is empty. And he hits a ground ball right side. All man for the fifth inning, moving along. Two quick outs. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And now it's the catcher for the Red Sox, Connor Wong. He popped out his first time. Lace down the line, could be extra bases. Takes the turn, he's digging for second. The throw in, he's there, it's a two-out double. When you can turn a ball around at 107 off the bat, it's gonna make you feel really good inside. If he elevates that a little bit more, it's definitely out of here. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ball game. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter, Jaron Duran.
And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Next pitch downstairs, and it's a ball and a strike. Man at second. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Wong at second with two down. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Two, two. That one is absolutely belted. And it's off the out of town scoreboard. The run comes in from second. It's 5 1. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Rafael Devers up to hit. Fastball for a strike. 0 and 1. On the ground, right side. Simeon. They limit the damage here. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now a 5-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Fenway, start of the six, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Ezekiel Duran. The wind and the pitch. Wouldn't chase that time. Well, these Rangers, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. Everything seems to be clicking, and the six extra base hits in the game kind of tells you everything you need to know. They're not getting fooled up there at all. Kicks and fires. And that's in for a strike. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And that's going to roll to the wall. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Everything came together for him. I'll tell you, man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. So the lineup flips over. Here's the second baseman, Marcus Simeon. One for three. Right through there for a strike. The pitch. And that's off the inside edge. And one and one. And strike two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. Well, one of the things that hitters will do is they'll look for that red dot on the baseball as is coming in to let them know what the pitch is and if they see the red dot it's typically a slider but when a guy's got a really tight one with high spin rates very difficult to determine and that's probably why we saw a swing and miss right there just a nasty pitch 
That one in the dirt, and the count is one and one. In the air out to center. Settles under it. And makes the grab. And there's two away. So a man aboard stepping in the long ball threat Adolis Garcia he's a guy Chris's highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see definitely one of the best arms of the sport and ball one yeah the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to and that's in for a strike. Here comes a pitch. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Man on second, two down. That one 95 to finish him off. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. Part of the order, 3-4-5 coming up. It's the Rangers five and the Red Sox one. Bottom of the six, and here's the first baseman, Tristan Casas. Ivaldi back to work. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Yeri Rodriguez appears to be getting loose. Lats getting cranked up as well. Check swing, tried to hold up. Now an appeal to third, and he held up. The 1 1. And strike two. And they'll do it again. The one two. And another ball. Ripped to short. Zips it across. One up, one down. The batter, number seven. Designated hitter. Masataka. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Masataka Yoshida. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Foul ball there. That one's upstairs, ball one. And yeah, the count, one and two. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. Now just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches for this game. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball still, a one and two count. And that's down it away. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Righty delivers. Towards first, low. He steps on the bag. 
So they get the out after a long battle at the plate. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Trevor Story now. And takes low for ball one. Base knock right field. Now he'll turn for second. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. That'll be it for Nathan Evaldi. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. New pitcher on now, Yeri Rodriguez. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. So two down, and stepping in for Boston, Willier Abreu. Bounced out to short, Seeger to first, and that is that. One left for the Red Sox. They're down 5 1. We go to the top of the seventh. Now it's going to be Evan Carter. The right hander back to work. That misses the zone, and it's one and one. The Red Sox with some bullpen action. Brennan Bernardino getting ready to go. Weiser, the hard throwing right hander, up as well. The why to kick the pitch. To third. Can't glove it cleanly. No throw, and they can't get the out. Now the third baseman, Josh Young. He launched a solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off onto the right foot. And that one's a little bit low. Ball one. Right through there for a strike. This one popped up. Casas has a beat on it. Puts it away for the out. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. So digging in, Nathaniel Lowe. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. Under it. Brings it in. And there's two down. Man at first. Now the catcher for the Rangers. Jonah Heim. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Carter, the runner at first with two gone. Runner on the go. Pitch in for a strike. Throw save. That's a stolen base. Well, it really doesn't matter what the situation is. When a guy like this gets on first, you know he's going to steal second at some point during the at-bat. 
Nice job to get in the scoring position. The defense probably knew it was coming, but they just couldn't do anything to stop it. Two outs. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Rangers leave one. They're up 5 1. Back inside Fenway Park, bottom of the seventh. Here's the left fielder, Tyler O'Neill. And he deals. That one misses. And that's ball one. Swing and a miss, 98 on the gun. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. A massive home run, and they're chipping away. It's 5-2. That one just sounded different. And might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. We weren't sure it would ever land. And 460 feet later, it finally did as we get a look at StatCast. Well, StatCast was invented for home runs just like this one. And he had some ridiculous bat speed on that swing, man. Everything was synced up. The backspin was incredible, and that's why it went a long, long way. And next for the Red Sox, Vaughn Grissom. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. But oh, you just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Nobody on, nobody out. Here at the bottom of the seventh. Out in front and foul to the left side. And the pitch. Got him swinging. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. We'll take a look at the three pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0 2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Wong stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. And there's a ball. Running that good fastball up on the hitter's inside. If nothing else, it keeps him from diving out over the plate to get those arms extended on the pitch away. Ripped on the ground a second, on to first, and he's out. So the batting order turns over. Here's the center fielder, Jaron Duran. The other way, and that's just foul. Left-hand batter waits. And strike two. And the 0-2. And that's downstairs and outside. Up the middle. Not in time. He's safe. Did a nice job getting there. Good throw, but very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw. You know? Yeah, no question. man aboard and here is Devers 
And the first pitch misses for ball one. And here it comes. Wouldn't chase that time. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Sliced hard, but foul. The pitch. Tristan Casas waiting to bat for the Red Sox. And a base hit right there. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Now back, first base Brock Burke into the game. Now, Tristan Casas. And fouled off. Duran, the lead runner out at second. Devers on at first with two down. Swing and a miss. Oh, with two down. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. Tying run at the plate. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth, Greg Weiser. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Leody Tavares. Leody Tavares. And a pitch. Weiser, a righty that throws with power. 29 years old, he joined the team as a free agent. And the right hater deals. Way inside, gets out of the way. One one now. Now a pop up on the infield. Settles underneath it. Calls it in, and there's one away. Now Ezekiel Duran stepping in for the Rangers. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. So now back to the top of the order. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now it's Marcus Simeon. Ball one there. Man at first, one away. And downstairs, Boston's bullpen with some activity. Renan Bernardino appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Number 63, also getting ready. Kicks and deals. 
And a rope into center field. Base hit to third. And the throws offline. Safe at third. Absolutely punished that pitch. Wasn't fooled in the slightest. 109 off the bat. I think that means you put a pretty good swing on it. So now it's Corey Seager. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. In for a strike. Going one. Now it's belted deep to left way out of here home run a three run dinger and they boost their lead it's eight two that's their third home run of the game they're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one they've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. So the Red Sox go to the bullpen. Number 63. Well, they need someone to stop the bleeding and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Now it's the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. A strikeout and a walk. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. Part of the order coming through now and with one home run already in this inning they're definitely looking to do some more damage already three runs across in the frame and we're at the top of the eighth and a good eye there rips that one to right Abreu snags it out number two Two outs, base is empty. Evan Carter getting ready to hit. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for hitters to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. That one fouled off. Up and in, and the count is one and two. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Pitch misses there, two and two. Inside, almost got him. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Two down, nobody on. Hammer, base hit. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Foul ball. The pitch. Big swing and a miss. Carter off of first with two away. Fights it off. He'll see another.
One two now. And another ball. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And that's the third out. Three run shot for Texas this inning. It's now 8 2. Back after this on the show. Back here at Fenway, bottom of the eighth. Now it's the DH, Masataka Yoshida. As the lefty gets to work, just missed. Activity in the bullpen. Kirby Yates, a right-hander with big strikeout stuff, is getting it fired up. Anderson getting loose as well. Ground ball, left side. Over to low. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. So stepping in for Boston, Trevor Story. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. And first offering is fouled off. And you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Good eye in that spot. Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle. You can lose your... Dives, and he can't hang on. He doesn't have a play, and they come away without an out. Will your Abreu up next for the Red Sox? There's the strike, 95 of that one. Here's your one. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The Red Sox with a lot of ground to make up. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. And they cut into the lead. It's 8-4. They needed that one, Singy. Indeed they did. They've been fighting to get back into this game. And just like that, they're back in it. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. And stepping in for Boston, Tyler O'Neill. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. So a man aboard now with one away. Waste no time there. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. And now Vaughn Grissom. And first offering is fouled off. And the pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Still only one out here in the inning. Snap throw to first. Back in there standing. A new arm into the game, the righty, Kirby Yates.
That's off the mark. Going to count one and two. And another ball. <laughs> that one misses. And the count's full. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Oh, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable at the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. He'll have some adjustments to make. Wong in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. O'Neal off of first with two away. That one at 95 missed up top, and it's 2 0. Oh. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Two balls and a strike. Righty to the plate, and another ball. That one the other way. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Two runs for Boston on the home run. It's now 8-4. We're back. It's the top of the night, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Brennan Bernardino. Bringing in the lefty with a left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. And now the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. The first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. And a pitch. High fly ball down the left field line. Grabs it on the run. And a quick out number one. What a gutsy play. I always found that it was difficult because of such a wide warning track here at Fenway Park. To get back there, sometimes you don't know where you are. But with reckless abandon, he goes up and challenges the monster and comes down with an incredible catch. Heim at the plate now. That's ball one. Up the middle, Grissom gets it to first. Out on a bang bang play, but he made it close. Well, I'm impressed with this guy's internal clock. He knew he had plenty of time to take that extra step, secure his grip on the baseball, and make a strong, accurate throw. Two outs, space is empty. Up next for the Rangers, Leody Tavares. And that skips in the dirt. Two down, nobody on. You're at the top of the night. Falling behind two and one. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Offense held in check there. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order, do up. It's the Rangers eight and the Red Sox four.
back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Grant Anderson. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. So the Red Sox lineup turns over. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter, Jaron Duran. And he deals. Swing and a miss. Strike one. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. That one ripped left field. And it bangs off the out-of-town scoreboard. And he's got a double, his fourth hit. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. So, man aboard, Rafael Devers up next for the Red Sox. Pitch misses there, and it's 1-0. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Man at second. That's off the mark. Now 2-0. And that misses off the outside edge. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So that's a good take by him. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. So Devers will take his base. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk and guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. And here's the first baseman, Tristan Casas. Struck out on just three pitches last time. Just missed. Well, he's already in some trouble and falling behind in the count makes it even worse. Then you've got to throw the ball over more of the plate, and that's where they can. Now this one gets through. Rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score. It's eight to five. Well done. Narrows the deficit with the RBI there. He smashed that ball the other way and kept it fair down the third baseline. Did an excellent job of just throwing the barrel at the ball, even though he was a little late on it. Taking over on the mound for the Rangers, Jose LeClerc. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Now here's the Red Sox DH, Masataka Yoshida. Fastball in for a strike, 0-1. And the slider just misses. There's the strike. Fouls it off, still one and two. The tying run at the plate. Fights that one away, still one and two. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Tying run at the plate. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. No, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Two on, one out. And next for the Red Sox, Trevor Story. Swing and a miss. Going one. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Two 
two on one out and that one a little below the knees and the count even one and one. At the belt and fires. Struck him out looking. Just locked him up right there for the second out, and that's an at bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot, so now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. So they're down to their final out. Will your Abreu up next for the Red Sox? of the zone for a strike and it's 0-1. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. One strike away. Just misses with that one. That turns out to be a really good take right there but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Pitch misses. The count now two and two. Got him, and that's the ball game. Well, this was a total team effort using six pitchers in this ball game to get the win. Outstanding job of passing the baton. The next pitcher stepping up and getting it done. You got to give them a lot of credit because this is not easy to do. We'll see how it affects them over the next couple of days. And this one ends with the score eight to five for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.